Hello everybody and welcome to this week's From Theory to Practice, where I take a look at the research so you don't have to. Now the article I've selected this week is called Enriched Environment Exposure Accelerates Rodent Driving Skills by Crawford and colleagues. Now to understand why I selected this paper, just go back and look at that title again. Rodent Driving Skills. I mean this is one of those papers that when it comes across your desk it's just too good to pass up. So let's dive in and see what the heck they're talking about. So forever, whenever rats were used for behavioral studies, they were raised in what were called traditional cages. So these were small cages, they had some food, they had some water, some fluff to play with. Cool. Now the tasks we would use to see how these rats would learn are what we would traditionally call simple motor learning tasks. So they would learn how to run a maze or they would learn how to swim out to a hidden platform. So it's a task, but it's not incredibly difficult. Now, a long time ago, a researcher figured out that when they raised their rats in an enriched environment, so they took them out of that small cage and they put them in a world where they could interact with other rats. They had toys to play with, they had food, they had water, they were having a good old time. Those rats would learn these simple skills faster and better. So we've long known that raising rats in an enriched environment boosts their learning. Why does this matter? The tasks we've been using to test rat learning are probably way too simple. Rats have really complex, dense behaviors, and that's what we need to be seeing. So comes along Crawford and these researchers. They say, okay, let's do a little research, but let's make it complex. What could be a good complex task for rats? I know, let's build them a car and see if they can learn how to drive it. I kid you not, so they built this vehicle. So it was just a bucket, it had like a contact pad, and the rats would learn to get in and they could press three different levers, one to make it go forward, one left, one right. They wanted to see if these rats would learn how to drive. But more importantly, they wanted to see if rats raised in an enriched environment showed faster, deeper learning than in a traditional environment, even when it came to these complex skills. So they let the rats go and here are the four things they found. One, rats can learn how to drive a car. Two, rats raised in an enriched environment learn this complex task faster than traditional rats. Three, the traditional rats still learned the task. It took them a little bit longer, but after enough time, they were able to learn how to drive just as well as the enriched rats. So in the end, every rat learned how to do it. And four, they were also measuring uh, DHEA uh, court levels, the ratio inside these rats' bodies. So don't worry too much about the details. This is just a measure of what we call emotional resilience. Are you interpreting a situation as stressful or as kind of exciting and fun and worth tackling? As these rats learned how to drive a car, their stress levels flipped. In rich environment or not, all rats stepped up and became more emotionally resilient having learned this complex task. But let's swing that back now to learning and say, what might this mean for us as teachers in education? Well, first, turns out the term enriched environment is kind of a misnomer. If you think about it, the traditional rat cages with just food and water and fluff, that's actually a deprived environment. That's a stripped back environment. What we're calling an enriched environment for rats is really just a naturalistic environment. They have things they'd naturally see in the real world. What happens when you take a rat and actually raise them in an overstimulated environment, a super enriched, where there's lots of noises, sounds, lights? Turns out all their cognitive and developmental skills drop markedly. Overstimulation really negatively impacts learning and growth. So this idea of an enriched environment, some people take that to mean, oh, let's throw a bunch of stuff up in our room, let's have more stuff, no. It just means a natural environment. Give them challenges, things to play with, things to overcome and interact with, and that seems to be enough. Which brings us to point two. I think the second important thing to take away is every rat learned how to drive this car, which means really everyone can learn everything. It just takes people different amounts of time. So we can't write things off too quickly. And I think the third important thing for us is, is this. Challenge is everything. So all the rats, enriched and non-enriched, all showed increased emotional resilience after having tackled this incredible challenge, this really difficult thing for them. Emotional resilience 
comes from effort. We need to have those high expectations for everyone in every situation. Let the kids struggle, let them fail because that's where the resilience starts to bump up. We protect them too much and we're actually harming their resilience. We're harming their ability to engage with the world. So challenge, struggle, that is key and important. We need to let kids struggle, fail and learn from those mistakes because that's where the internal resources really start to come from. So that was a fun one. I hope you enjoyed that as much as I did. I hope you're all well, and I will see you guys next week. Bye, y'all.